I've been having a hard time getting stereo sound to come out of the Genesis uh, for my videos to capture. I have a ton of these mono cables that have the video signal and the mono channel. Um, but, you know, the Genesis can output stereo sound. So I've been having to improvise. Uh, what I've done in the past is I found this video cable here. So this has the pins, all the pins. The um, mono cable here does not. So here you have the, the two, you know, composite signal and the mono channel. And then this cable, you have the composite, the left, the right. But the thing is, uh, at the other end of this cable, there was um, an RF modulator, right? And I opened up the RF box and you see uh, I've modified it. Um, all the wires are out, but the wires came in here and I tapped into the signal in the back and then I soldered them to um, this volume wheel pendulator. So I had uh, the incoming left and right, and then the outgoing. Uh, I, wire I had wires going up here to this headphone jack. So I could wear headphones while on the Mega Drive, you know, playing games and control the volume. And then the... Um, signal, the video signal here, I wired over and I took out the uh, coax connection and I soldered in a, um, a yellow video connection. And this worked great for a while, but this has since broke. So then um, I soldered the wires to this, which is a, um, I get these from video switch boxes that have like multiple um you know you can plug in multiple devices and then switch between them so i actually have a bunch of those um like this one here i have some in my pocket like this one is an s video right um so what so this eventually broke too. Uh, one of these pins uh, snapped. So um, I'm gonna replace this right now. Uh, so let's get going with that. Um, here, let me show you what works. AV, okay. So I'm gonna plug the cable in the back of the console here. Right. Um, this is a TV I used to bring with me in the car when I would go uh, pick up games off like Craigslist or Facebook. I'd always have this TV in the car that I would use to test before I would buy them. Um, so it's kind of a trashy TV. So here's uh, the connectors. Nothing. All right, so we have sound. So that's how I'm gonna test, like, all right, so nothing in that connector, and we get something in that connector. This is also, um, a lot of times, if you do that while the Genesis is on, it will crash the Genesis. So I'm gonna re-solder these. Maybe it'll be, you know, an interesting video, I don't know. Going. All right. I might have to do with it just being really cold outside, um, but I finally got the uh, iron soldering iron to uh, melt some solder. There you go. Nice. Okay. So let's remove these connections. I'm actually going to use these extra hands here to hold on to the wire. They'll help me pull it off. OK. 
Okay. Let's go, melt. Melt, 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 melt. There goes the red wire. Okay. The white wire is already off. Let's grab this yellow one. Melt the solder. Whew. Okay. Now for the ground wire. Um, I should probably have taped this up. But yeah, this stopped working because um, I was trying to like separate the pins too much by bending them sideways and it just kind of broke off. I think this is going left first. Um, let's disconnect the middle one. Well, that did it. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. We got the ground wire. Um, we got the video. And then the left and the right. Okay, so now we need our new connector. These are all uh, three connectors are attached by this common metal that comes down right here. So that's our ground. Um, I'm going to use maybe the green for the video, which is this top one here. And then these will be the left and the right. Uh, so I'll connect the red one to the red one. But first, let's attach the ground. I'm going to try to get a little bit of solder on there first. Like, it's really cold outside, so... It might take a little longer to heat these things up. Come on, stick on there, Mr. Solder. That's not bad. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna, oh, look at that. I melted the plastic. <laughs> Jeez, that's gonna stink. Uh, so the video is gonna be at the end. All right, so I need like some slack. Maybe I'm going to do the video first, actually, just because it's like the shortest one. So I need to make sure I, that uh, I have enough slack for it and I'll try not to melt any plastic. I have this unplugged from the Genesis, by the way. You don't want to do this stuff while it's plugged into your console. There's some solder. Okay, now for the yellow cable. All right. Stinky. Uh, now the red one was Right, so let's do the white one. Um, okay, try not to melt anything. Um, gonna get the red, get some little bit of solder on this red one. This um, connector here. Am I melting the plastic? I don't know. So, but there's that. I should have like a second, you know, pair of tweezers or something. I probably have that somewhere. But just try not to burn yourself. I don't know. I mean, I, w I would recommend just ordering a new cable online. This is um, kind of going overboard, but I don't have time for that. I wanted. I need to capture some stereo sound today. Oh look! Go 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 go! No stick. Cool down. Cool down. 
Alrighty, great. I wonder if I could, oops, I keep knocking into the camera. Is this like good footage? I mean, it's connected, so. Right, I shouldn't mess with it. <laughs> Just kidding. I always have to mess with it. All right, well, I got a little more connected, I think. Probably melted a little more plastic, as you can see. All righty. There. Uh, so this is electrical solder, by the way. You have to use electrical solder to, um, you know, make ele electrical connections. Otherwise, the current won't pass through. You know, like electrical current can only pass through certain kinds of metals. So I'm going to apply some solder. Okay. This still has the old pin on it from the one that broke off the other connector. Do, 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 do. Just trying not to burn myself. That melted really fast. Then I got it connected. All right, there's that one. Now you need the ground, otherwise you're gonna get a whole bunch of interference and stuff in your signal. So um, let's get this ground. So. All right, let's move this cable up here and. Uh, Move that to the side and connect the ground. This is tricky. It's all like threaded copper, so uh, for this ground connection. Well, I think they all are, but. Okay, that connected. All right, let's put a bunch of solder on this ground wire now that it's connected. I mean, that should do it, really. Like, okay, okay, this is getting tricky. There it goes. That's connected. Um, yeah, there's a, oh man, like, yeah, I need to put tape there to separate that out. All right, well, let's try it. So I had this as the uh, left and right, and then the green as the video. Um, I'm gonna plug it in, <clears throat> power it on. Well, the video works, although this is like. There's the left channel. There's the right channel. Or vice versa. That was probably uh, Yeah, alright. Let me fix it, guys. Um, now I can go capture some sound. See ya.